Well, if you are going to be outdoors today, we do have showers and uh, some little thunderstorms possible today. You might get a few brief heavy downpours just here and there, but not widespread heavy rain. But you see, rain is increasing. This is radar over the last three hours, and the showers have been kind of popping up, expanding in coverage and intensity. But everything moving kind of west northwest across the area, and that should continue the rest of this afternoon. So. Uh, most everyone has a decent chance to see at least some rain today, but there may be some pockets that do get maybe more than an inch or two of rain total. Uh, a little brief heavier shower went through San Polito has now moved on. You see how quickly it moves. This is the last hour and it went from San Polito where it was raining briefly kind of heavy and then back up into Kennedy County now. So it's it's moving along pretty quickly. Uh, a little burst of some heavier rain kind of near Hargill. Just moving there. That's the shower we were tracking near Delta Lake at near the top of the hour. Farther to the south, the heaviest rain really in the valley, the biggest shower too, is kind of just leaving Los Fresnos and going toward San Benito, headed uh, kind of up I 69E closer to Harlingen. So that's a little brief round of some heavy rain. And none of the stuff is lasting very long at any one time. I mean, some of these may last 15, 20 minutes or so, but not sticking around to give you big rainfall totals all at once. But if you do get hit by multiple bursts of some rain. You could easily again end up with maybe more than an inch or two of rain in a few spots. The heaviest rain though you see just right there near San Benito right now uh, along Highway 100 and, and uh, Highway I-69 E. And farther to the west, the rain just making it into Hidalgo County also near Milo Dose and near La Feria area is going into Hidalgo County between there and Mercedes some rain coming down. So again, pockets of fast moving heavy rain. Temperatures are mainly in the 80s right now, 89 in McAllen, 84 in Brownsville, 85 in Port Isabel. Even though it's in the 80s, check out the heat index. If you've been outside, it still feels very humid. The heat index is over 100 in some areas. You may think, well, you know, why is it in the 80s, but it feels like over 100. Oh, it's that humidity again coming back. But check out the dew points. Doesn't get much higher than this around here. Dew points up around 80 degrees in some areas, upper 70s and near 80. So very muggy air, a lot of humidity in the air. So with those dew points back up, say an average in the upper 70s, but some areas again around 80. It's it's like summertime humidity plus one in some areas. It's uh, rather sticky this afternoon, and especially in the lower valley. So as we go through the day, temperatures in the afternoon kind of uh, hover in the 80s with showers and storms around. Check out future track, which uh, may not do the rain all the justice here, but it does show the general trend that, that as the afternoon goes on, showers and storms popping up, moving west northwest and really kind of hanging around throughout the afternoon into early the, in the evening hours. Overnight, most of the rain should die off. I'm thinking, you know, maybe some scattered light rain showers, a few little showers or a brief quick downpour overnight, but not as much as this afternoon, but still enough moisture around that we could see scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms and spots on Wednesday. So first 1570 forecast highs generally in the 80s the next couple of days. It may be cooled more when it rains, but still it's very humid out there today and tomorrow. A chance for rain roughly around 60 to 70 percent. By Thursday and Friday, the rain chances start to drop some. I think we're looking at about 40 percent chance for rain Thursday, maybe down to 20 or 30 on Friday. The weekend should be mainly dry. It doesn't look like much rain out there, but highs come back into around 90 or higher. Next week, we'll have to have to kind of watch. Some of the models are hinting at maybe a cold front arriving either Monday night or Tuesday. Not a super strong front, but one that will actually try to cool off temperatures uh, later next week. So until then, though, there's still some warm days ahead and our best chances of rain are today and tomorrow. We'll keep tracking the rain in your first four and five forecast. Gabby.